Hello everyone, this is your rambling royal rodent, the noble or ignoble King Hamster. Ruler of nothing he surveys, unseen defender of the realms, eater of sunflower seeds, all around goodish bloke, and mayor of that fishing village you sometimes think about but can never remember the name of. Today we're going to talk about my gameplay of Final Fantasy XIV. This is in fact my uh, third return to the game. The first two times I left shortly after because I couldn't um, quite connect with the game in the sense that I didn't have anyone to play this with so it was often a rather lonely experience and uh, eventually it drove me away. I didn't, I didn't make a lot of friends or anybody in particular and I found no real reason to keep playing. So. It got dull after a while, as, as nice as the game itself is. I mean, when you play through the quests and such, it's very interesting and they have uh, some incredible graphics and uh, cutscenes and such. And look at this place. I absolutely love Gridania. I am so glad that the Conjurer starts in a place like this. And uh, that's the class I'm playing. Uh, this character of mine, Trigger Tisselwick. Yes, I named him when I was half asleep. Uh, but I do I did like the name I picked in the end. It uh, seems to fit the character, at least to me it does. And uh, conjurer start in Gridania and look at the trees. It's massive. I do like that the um, the developers of the game took time to create this. Uh, uh, effects and graphics and CGI and such. I'm I'm probably using a lot of unnecessary words, but essentially I I enjoy the scenery and um, that seems to be what this game encourages. It seems to encourage you to stop and smell the roses and and appreciate the beauty. <laughs> uh, those fungoars amuse me for a lot of reasons, and yes, there seems to be a dead guy here. I can't seem to raise him. I I need to be a a bit higher level. My conjurer is now leveled. Oh, okay. Um. This this fungor looks a bit different. Let me just. Ex oh, he's enchanted and it's from a fate. Some foul sorceress has enchanted the forest's fungors, transforming them into man-eating menaces. That's not good. I suppose I should fight and um, save mankind. Wait. Unable to attack. <laughs> I'm too high leveled. Okay, that's that's the first. I have. Uh, someone else is taking care of it though. So good for you! Yay! I do like that the um. Some people get creative with the names of their characters. Wretch, full spark. <laughs> and um, Sammy Bear and this guy just sleeping here is Crisis Nightkeeper. He's level 8. But like I said, I have to be level 12 before I can even raise him. And if he's still here when I get back and I'm level 12, I am going to try it. Matty Stormcloud. Hello. You know, it's too bad that um, Final Fantasy XIV doesn't have a voice chat. So I can't even um, just call out people for the fun of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to turn that off for now. The conjurers do get a rather uniform outfit because this is the starter, starter quest rewards that we get. So I suppose it's to be expected that almost everyone's going to look identical for a while. At least until we get a little bit more progression in. Look at that. Is that a Rogadin or a Highlander? I can't tell. Probably a Rogadin. They're very big. Uh, like I said before, this game, although it was fun and incredible, I could not bring myself to... St I mean, it, could, it, it couldn't hold on to me. Uh, but that was because I didn't have any friends to play this with. Now, however, I've got a group... Uh, some incredible people. This, uh, g in fact, um, one of them, Fox Marine. He uh, runs the channel Fox Marine Gaming. 
I, I encourage everyone to ha give it a look. He gives a lot of good tutorials and uh, commentary of the gameplay. And although he, 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 he often calls it fumbling the game, I say he's actually doing pretty well because he, he teaches quite a bit and he offers it in such a, a funny way. He, uh, he gives some witty commentary that, that uh, keeps your attention. I don't know if he does it intentionally or it just comes to him naturally. It's more likely the latter. But he just has a way of keeping your attention and interest and I think that's a good thing for for things like this you know when you're doing a gameplay and you're offering commentaries so I, I think it's always good to be able to keep uh, the viewers attention I don't even know why I got out of the way of that person it's not it's not like I'm gonna crash into them I had some trouble with the volume controls earlier, so I had to do quite a few re-recordings and adjust things. Oh, someone is teleporting. There we go. Beam me up, Scotty. I think I'm going back towards the low level areas because these are all starter players I'm seeing. Yep. Yeah, this These creatures are called a little ladybug. What I like about them is that they are anything but little. <laughs> because a real little ladybug shouldn't even be spotable because of you know real life ladybugs are so tiny whereas here they are shin high look at that that is a menace these things can hurt you <laughs> uh, but anyway oh yeah I am definitely heading back to Gridania no wonder Oh look, uh, someone's got a chocobo. It's adorable. I want my own chocobo. That's that's uh, one of my motivations for coming back. It's, um, well, that bird. Because I want to have one of my own. I love the chocobos. I'm all about the chocobos. I can't get tired of saying chocobo. But this little ladybug, this bugs me. <laughs> Pun intended, because... That is such a huge thing. I sh it shouldn't it shouldn't have the word little in it. Just because it's smaller than me doesn't make it little, because that is huge for a ladybug. Unless there's actually, unless there's actually a ladybug that's even bigger than that. And considering that I've seen some creatures here, where I've seen the small versions and then a fate occurred and this ginormous like ten times bigger than the the other. Uh, versions of it around there so maybe there is a ladybug that's just like super sized in that case then i can understand why this one would be called a little ladybug and um yeah i've been going at this recording a lot longer than the last few like i said i had some mic problems with them earlier so it didn't come out at all uh one had no voice recording another one was too soft and then i've been making more, more recordings trying to get the uh, right volume I think I've reached that now because I did a test before I uh, started this I should have done that right from the start but uh, hey live and learn right this is my first time doing this so uh, I guess uh, trial and error is to be expected hey what's that that looks like an interesting pet I I love that the uh, Final Fantasy has uh, this amazing non-combat pets they look like a lot of fun to just just look at you know and to follow you around I, I enjoy that very much uh, I do enjoy classes that have uh, combat pets to help you in battle unfortunately the gameplay the overall gameplay for them doesn't quite gel with my style in the end the conjurer is the best class for me I think I enjoy them the most Although the Arcanist comes a close second. The only thing that turns me off from the Arcanist is that the battles take forever. Uh, and you, you have to be really a good technical expert. You have to combine all the abilities uh, depending on what, you, uh, what class you are. Like, like this Conjurer, the stone skill and the repo skill work very well hand in hand with each other. Because when you cast them, they you can cast them without delay between each of them whereas uh, arrow when you when you use this 
uh, it resets the timer for all your abilities so you actually have to wait a few seconds before you can use them again which means you have to run around to avoid getting hit and uh, I think the gameplay combat encourages you to keep moving while fighting from the looks of it it's because um, uh, I noticed that when I'm fighting I have to I have to to use well, any of these abilities multiple times before they take down anything no matter how low level they are like like these ground squirrels for example I'm level 10 but I can't just one hit kill them even now let's see what happens when I try yep I have to hit them at least three times before they go down which is still a little bit faster than before but it, it you know it is there is no uh, one hit KO ability not really as far as I can tell uh, the conjurer doesn't quite have that but this is early on and this is really literally the furthest I've ever gotten in this game before uh, previously I, I think I only played until I was level 5 so I can't speak much for how the experience is going to be like uh, once I get to higher levels I'm, I mean I might actually get abilities that were killed in one hit so that should improve the experience for me I come from games like Warframe and um, Life After where you know you don't have to press button skills to hit and attack and uh, end the fight it's kind of dependent on how much damage your weapon does so it's a bit different the ex the overall experience and gameplay but uh, like I mentioned I have friends this time that I'm playing this with so it's it's not as lonely as it was in the first two times that I tried to get back into this game so yeah having friends is important I am playing this with a uh, uh, Fox Marine and uh, Agent Wolf and Agent Wolf's uh, brother so I'm looking forward to that yeah I haven't actually met up with them yet but uh, that's going to happen soon and uh, I'm probably going to subscribe uh, once I can uh, I'm just I'm just going through the experience a little bit more first before I make any decisions on that oh wow okay this that's an archer Ooh, very aggressive archer two of them actually Ooh. I shall provide healing <laughs> they don't actually need it but it's it's fun to be able to practice the uh, abilities okay so I will be signing off here for now that is a lot of players look at that I love that this community is so active and that's an arcanist they have combat packs I wish I wish the conjurer does too maybe they will like I said I I don't know too much about them and I haven't gone into deep research for the uh, conjurer class or any class for that matter maybe I should but uh, I'm liking what I'm going through uh, seeing and experiencing so far and again like I said the the graphics is is incredible and uh, I do enjoy uh, just sometimes just pausing around and, and looking at everything and just appreciating the work the uh, developers have done okay there goes another chocobo chocobo I love those guys right this is the king hamster signing out for now take care stay safe and be well